it's not just wake up one day and you're at the top of your game. Uh, there's a long road to get there. You, know, you definitely have to come out in the field with a clear head. Uh, you can't be carrying baggage with you. We're pretty fortunate we've got a good support team uh, here uh, with, with all our staff, but then all, all our players who are, who are our, like our family and our mates. I, th I think everyone should have or, or should needs to find that older mentor that you know that they trust and um, can talk to. And I think I'm always going to have those those same sort of mentors and those people that I can call. And I think that's something that's special. Uh, probably a few times at school, we lost lost a few close friends. Once it went on a bit and talked to a few mates briefly, then I, I you know I jumped at the chance to to talk to one of the counsellors at school, and um, and, and that that helped me through it amazingly. You know, if one of my teammates would have come to me with an issue, then that, that's pretty big of them. It's not easy to do, um, but you're much better for it. You know, when you come out and, and talk to a mate about some issues you're having, whatever they are, um, you're gonna feel 100 times better for it. I think it's brave for someone to come out and tell someone your feelings because it can be quite embarrassing you know, at, at times, but to, to come out of your shell and um, kind of tell someone uh, I reckon it's a brave move and um, it's better to let something out than bottle it all in and then, you know, it can get in, it can get worse or bigger than what it is. Um, I know that um, if I did, uh, the boys would be there to help me because um, I've grown a pretty strong bond with the boys and I know I can trust them and turn to, turn to them for help. And, you know, sometimes I'm afraid to ask. And when I'm afraid to ask, I'd probably throw a, a gesture out there, you know, just, just saying, you know, hopefully you're okay. Hopefully you're all good. You know, just things like that. It's just checking with, with your mates. When you are close friends with someone, you can tell when they're a bit off and when they're a bit down. So, you know, depending on the person, sometimes they might shy away from, from getting into it too much. But, you know, once you put the question out there, they'll know that they can come to you and, and talk about it. And, when they need to and when they're ready, they'll come, they'll come and they'll find you and, you know, and, and have a chat. Like, because we, we want to be tough as well, like we act like we're tough and uh, that we can handle anything, but really deep, in, deep inside we, um, we're, we're struggling and we need to um, open up a bit more. I, I know myself, I, I, have, I have problems it's, and it's normal. It's normal to have problems. It's, you shouldn't be ashamed about, about showing how, how you feel and um, what's really, really going on in, 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 the, in your life. You know, I, I personally think you know, everyone's got to pick their, pick their mentor or, or, or pick that friend that, that they really trust or, or find a friend or find a professional. And for me, you know, I've, in terms of rugby people, I've probably got two, two people or two or three people that, that I genuinely, genuinely trust and, and would have a you know, deep conversation with. And in terms of personal life, you know, I've probably got one or two as well. I, I think that um, silence is deadly um, because you, you hear it on the news. You hear it, you hear it everywhere now. Like for myself, I, I, I choose to open up now because if I was to leave it in, like inside, and, and bottle everything up, like it, it just gets worse than, than what it is. So um, it, I, I do think silence is deadly. Silence is deadly, 100%, yeah. Um, if, uh, if I'm ever quiet, then something's usually up because um, I'm uh, usually a pretty talkative sort of guy. Um, and I think that's the case for most people, you know. Um, you know, the longer they're silent, the longer they're, they're going to be in trouble. So you just need to get them talking.